I know we can sit here and do Marino stories because there's yeah. nobody as confident nobody. as that cat on nobody. the football field. Yeah. That's what you have to have. But he was at home. He was at home on the football field. I'll be honest, I, I had no idea. Into the first round comes in. I don't know how many people could have said, oh, this guy's gonna be one of the greatest passers of all time. Yeah. I didn't know he was gonna be that good. You know, the, Dan Marino's first touchdown pass, that's one of the greatest memories. Yeah, you know, at the time on a Monday night football game, they were starting to work him in at the end of games. We weren't playing great on offense. And then on Monday night, he's just, moving the ball pretty good you know that that two minute drill that catch up offense and I wasn't open by much to no. be real fair I mean you've seen it yeah I can't lie right, right? Yeah. I wasn't open much and I was like man that guy dropped it right down the hole man and it was like okay he had a little something going and then of course he goes on the rest is history with yeah. all of us man he's been such a big part of all, all of our lives now yeah you caught number one I was lucky enough we're playing against the uh, New Orleans Saints one game and he was sitting at 397, 398. So you got one, I got 399 and 400. You got both. Game. You well, didn't get so to keep any. 399 and 401. I had to give him 400 though. Yeah. I never seen a guy such a pig <laughs> after having all these touchdowns. And you used to go to his house out there and he'd have all of them. I said, man, how about giving them to some of the other guys who could use it, man? You could sign it, sign or, something. it or something. He right? got everyone, you know, one, 100, 200, 300. I mean, it just kept going. Oh, right? I only got to play a couple seasons with Dan, but the thing is, is that, you know, being on the defensive side of the ball, you get to watch, you know, you get to watch him sling it yeah. as a fan. You know what I mean? Right. You, know, you guys are in the huddle, you know, you're running routes, you doing track backs and all that kind of stuff. I'm sitting there as a fan. That guy was a natural. Uh, it was, it was fun. No, no, not straight, like, Oh, like, like little pieces like that to kind okay. of keep it look. <laughs> Damn you acting old and white right now. Hey, when he was cutting, I thought he was doing one of them, what they call that when they make them angles? <laughs> 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 Apart? No, you know, what they call that when you... No, no, that, what is that blade thing they do in the... In the I, I, I said, yeah, he's doing... What one. is that called, Steve? If you took his sideburns and just, and just kind of made them like a little uh, edge show, me like that, what they, you know... Oh, just, you want to No, I don't want that. I, I, felt like, I felt like that's what you were doing. <laughs> oh, man. You do look a lot better. Yeah. That looks good. Yeah. I always Steve, you did a nice job I'm, there. I'm going to a wedding uh, this weekend. I'm going to look sharp, man. Perfect. The Cutting Room Floor, presented by Hair Club and Capillas.